Some say baseball is our country's pastime, but what about lacrosse, a sport brought to us centuries ago by Native Americans using woven netting attached to a stick off a tree, is now quickly emerging as our country's present time. Last Saturday, I got a chance to sit down with the sport's biggest star, Bert Breakfast, and discuss his life as a Georgetown lacrosse player on and off the field. It's not just how good I am and how good that I know I am, it's that I'm so much better than everyone else. Why don't you walk me through a typical weekend of you being awesome? Do you mean of what I remember or of the awesome stories other people tell me about? Let's do both. Okay. Uh, usually Fridays, you know, I have practice. And, uh, you know, after practice, I usually go to the cafeteria where, um, you know, people will always be like walking by me being like, hey, man, you're awesome. Or like, oh, man, you look sweet today. And I'm always just like, whatever, guys, like, good to see you, but I won't remember your name. So, and then after that, I usually go to my friend's house, you know, one of the, one of the last guy's house, yeah. and we, uh, we usually start drinking there, and we usually start with shots. What kind of shots? In the guy's lax house? Always Jaeger bombs. How many Jaeger bombs can you take? Double digits? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I don't remember this, but, yeah. you know, my friends have told me that I've, I've broken 20 before. Sure. Where do you usually take your awesomeness to? Rhino. Yeah. Always. Always Rhino. I mean, it's no secret. The girls know where the last guys are going to be. And, and that's top floor Rhino. Upstairs Rhino. Um, and then is there late night? Like lax late night or what? Yeah. That's when lax guys usually get a lot of their business done. By business, you mean... I mean, hooking up with girls. I'll go back to a girl's place once in a while, but most of the time they'll want to sleep at my place. Just because they want to be known that they're at like the lax house? It's just the type of thing, like, I don't care enough about a girl to walk all the way over there. Yeah. Unless she's like really, really hot. Yeah. But yeah, most of the time they'll just sleep over there because I won't even realize which one of them it is or yeah. what their names are. It's sort of like a give and take relationship. Like, I'll let them sleep in my bed for one night, they'll write Spanish papers for me for the whole year. With your extensive social life, how do you think people judge you on campus? Awesome. Yeah. Or scared. Guys, scared? Yeah. That you hook up with their girlfriend or something? I mean, I could if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Um, and what about girls? Awesome. But I don't really care. Either way. And teachers, faculty, Jesuits? Mm -hmm. Scared. Scared of what? I don't know, that I won't like them a lot. Last year, as a junior, Bert received the prestigious All-American Award, although the momentum was halted with a tragic BWI at his summer house in East Hampton. Nonetheless, Bert has still set very high expectations for himself. Where do you see yourself, I don't know, five years, ten years from now, Georgetown graduate? Uh, I mean, I'll probably, you know, mess around with the Major League Lacrosse for a little bit just because... You know, they're going to pay me so much, you know, just to step on the field that it's stupid for me not to. A lot of lax players go into Wall Street. Do you think you can follow those footsteps? Or? I mean, I'm going to bartend as long as I can, and until I either, you know, end up in jail or rehab, you know, I always have my dad's you know, <laughs> company at Goldman to fall back on. Uh, he think, you think he'd hire you? Yeah, I mean, there's a job waiting for me there. What, because of the network? I mean, what does network mean to you? I mean, the dictionary definition of networking is hook up awesome, undeserving lacrosse players with really high paying jobs. National championship? Yeah. Um. I made 
varsity. So what kind of shot? Uh, in the lax house. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Uh, this would be. Um, and when you guys go out tonight, where do you take your awesomeness to? Mm. Rhino. <laughs> 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 awesome is too. Uh, it's Rhino. Yeah, always Rhino. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> when you make all that money, what do you do with it? Buy Coke. <laughs> <laughs>